Every RC model knows the struggle to sometimes adjust all the angles, uh, sub trims, etc., of model glider control surfaces. Well, electrical electronic inclinometer to the rescue. Aro put together some very nice equipment to make for an electronic uh, inclinometer with the sensor being able to do plus and minus 95 degrees with two adapters to clip on to small, larger or smaller control surfaces. Sliding it on. So here we have a Flitzebogen 2 in DLG. Um, taking the adapter and sliding on the inclinometer and uh, now we just push it gently onto the control surface it wedges on put the put the screen in an easy to see position switch under power and uh, if you press this button it will zero the the degrees so then opening up the flaps on this side takes it down to 38.8 okay so you could see that the glider moved a bit so let's bring it back and zero it on the zero position it gives 0 0.2 0 0.1 then we just push this button and have it zero again so let's bring it down again to full deflection 38.6 degrees okay back to zero zero degrees 38.6 degrees so fairly good repeatability here down to zero i have x08 servers on here so fairly accurate servers running on 2s 38.6 38.5 38.6 okay so let's put it on the move it over to the other surface 0 0.0 36.4 aha so we need to back to zero 36.5 36.4 down to back to zero 36.6 maybe a little bit of servo changes zero full speed down 36.6 now i know that this is driven to the bottom of its envelopes zero degrees sorry you have to crank your necks but mechanically and then we go down to 38.7 i will on my Remote, then go go to my server setup. There we go. So now we have the same deflection and travel for the servers on both sides. Let me put this. Okay, so here we have a an Aspire F3J. Um, you'll see for the clip that there is a. A cushioning a soft part here so we will need to carefully slide this onto the flap surface we will switch it on yeah. 66.6 .6. down to zero 66.4 66.6 up to plus 0 0.2 degrees I would be tempted to think that it's not so much the inclinometer but the servo that is slightly slightly 66.6 .6 again 66.7 up to zero for all practical purposes it's very very accurate going to zero um, if that was 66.6, .6, let's check the other one. Slide, sliding it on, down with the flaps again. Oh, 70, 71. Let's see if we can get both sides to 70.9. 
71.3 F, okay. But many a times when you get the recommended settings from a manufacturer, you get the uh, movements in millimeters. And how can you handle that? Well, it turns out that uh, the inclinometer has more than one mode. You press this button for uh, more than half a second and let go. And then you suddenly move to deflection in millimeters. How much deflection do you get? The control surfaces are different, etc. Oh, well, that's when there's a really innovative way of setting the width of the control surface. I happen to know that this one is exactly 65 millimeters. So what I do, let's see here, um, you double tap this sensor, tick, tick, and then you can add tilting it to one side plus 10 there you go 60 and then plus one plus two just holding it there going back to zero so by tilting the sensor you get it to adjust to the setting you want so if we wanted to get went over we go to minus one then tilt it back and then we want to go back to plus 65 and then when you're happy you double tap it again and it says saved you don't need to mount it all the, all the way in because it, it's, it will calculate the same angle. So it says here that it's set for 65 millimeter. You can see it. Okay, so let's use these millimeter deflections then to see what happens. You go to thermal 1 and it goes down to 2.2 millimeters. Thermal 2, it goes to 6.5. Uh, going back to thermal 1. Oh, it sticks at 4.4, .4, so it's two millimeters further down than the thermal one coming from, from normal. Going up to speed, speed, taking it up to one millimeter and then down to cruise, it's the noise stops and goes back to zero. So uh, we have double binding in this surface. Launch two, launch two. high thermal launch setting. Let's take the calibers out and uh, measure it. Taking the gauge here, 8.86, so the measurement is fairly accurate. If you look at it, it's um, a 3D printed casing, there's a 3.7 volt lithium ion battery inside to be charged with four point, up to 4.1 volts. Uh, you have a servo connector here, that's just for charging. You basically never need to open this box up. An OLED display, one power switch and one zeroing button. The meter itself has a flat back and I've successfully used this to measure decalage of a glider having it stay put and just putting this to the underside of the wing and then to the underside of the stabulator and uh, thus I've been able to calculate the decalage with a tenth of degrees accuracy. accuracy. Worked very well. There is a third mode for this sensor which you can see here. You will get to explore that for yourself if you ever get one.